Alright. What's up guys? Hi. Alright, today I'm just gonna go over some brief punctuation examples. I'm sure you guys all know about punctuation, but it's gonna be on the ACT. Might as well talk a lot of them. So first I'm gonna talk talk about stop punctuation. Um so this is like periods, semicolons, and commas. So periods and semicolons are pretty much the same thing. Uh, they both are used at the end of two independent clauses, so sentences that are not relying on each other. So um, I'm just gonna give you an example of um, <coughs> a sentence. So. So this is an example of a run-on sentence. This is what happens when two independent clauses are linked together without punctuation. So it says the family ate dinner together at the table. This was a rare occasion. As you can see, the family ate dinner together at the table is obviously one independent clause. And then here's another one, but there's no period here. So what you need to do is put a period there. It's pretty easy. Change this and put it as a capital. And then there's two independent clauses. Pretty easy. Sure, you guys all know that, but you know, still gotta go over it. You know, this is stuff that you might forget on the ACT. And the next one is commas. So, sorry for my handwriting, I'm terrible. I know. Um, so, commas are used when uh, um, <coughs> when a sentence is a dependent clause. So, it's dependent on the first part of the sentence. Uh, so, if think of it like this: if uh, periods and semicolons are stoplights, commas are blinking yellow lights. You know, you gotta slow down a little bit. So, um, so they're usually uh, used um, for like an introductory, introductory idea is one example of comma. So here's an example of a sentence. So as you can see, the sentence says originally, um, <coughs> excuse me, originally so by the punk rock bands, the members of U2 believed uh, music was not unnecessarily required to be successful. So as you can see, this is the first part of the sentence. If you put a period here, it's not gonna make sense because you know this is the idea, and now it's just giving you more about that idea. Pretty simple. You know, this is all common sense. Um, there's a few, another way a comma would be used. Um, it would be before and after unnecessary info. So an example would be, I don't want to write it because it's too long. Uh, the band's first international hit was their album. And then after that, you would say war. Obviously, you don't have to put war because it's, you don't need the information, but you would put a comma after, after before war. And then... Also, another way you place you use it is after every item on a list. So if you have like a, if you're talking to somebody and you're writing about a grocery list, after every item you put that, and then um, the last um, <coughs> apostrophes um, are the last thing I want to touch on. So they're used for possession or contraction. So like let, that's the apostrophe right there. It equal it equal so it's a contraction. So it's two words let us put in one and then for the possession it's for example if you put um, the album's four singles all won Grammy Awards the possession is this uh, the albums because the albums doesn't have the, the um, 
contraction. The the because so the album possesses the four singles, mm -hmm. and that's punctuation. 